Hello class. Good day. So last meeting, we have discussed the pricing models and decision in which you've learned how to understand customer and also how they have been segmented based on their interest, based on their political decisions and how that segmentation will affect their buying behavior. So for now, we are going to discuss occupancy rate which is very important in any hotel because it illustrates how successful a hotel has been marketing, okay, and how competitive it is compared to the other hotels. So for today, this would be our learning outcomes to understand about occupancy rate and to compute the occupancy rate in hotel industry. Okay, so what is occupancy rate? So occupancy rate it is the percentage of occupied room in your property at a given time. It is one of the most high level indicators of success and it is being calculated by dividing the total number of rooms occupied over the total number of rooms available times 100. Okay, so occupancy rate is a metric that is used in the hotel industry to evaluate the utilization of available units in the hotel. It also indicates kung unsa ang percentage sa room nga available sa hotel o pila po ang na-occupied or rented in a given period of time. Because in any business, occupancy rate, it is the amount of rates uh, rented, okay? The, the space rented compared to the amount of the total space available. In term of hospitals, hotels, apartments, and assisted living facilities, it determines the percentage of available units. For example, um, if you live in an apartment complex with 500 units and 450 of those units are being rented, your complex has a 90% occupancy rate. Okay, that means that 90% of the units available to be rented are occupied. Another example. So, the Grand Hotel has a total of 300 rooms. So, 237 are sold to guests. And then, 10 rooms are currently out of order due to water damage. So, the first thing that you are going to do is to determine the number of rooms available. So, there, is, there are total of 300 rooms minus the 10 rooms that is out of order. So, the available rooms is 219. And then, the second step that you're going to do is determine the occupancy percentage na since na anama kay figure. Okay? So, there are 237 sold rooms divided by the 290 available rooms times 100. So, the occupancy percentage is... 81.72%. Okay, so that is how you are going to compute the occupancy percentage or the occupancy rate in the hotel. Okay, so why is it that occupancy rate is important for hotels? Okay, because occupancy rates are important to business owners because they can signify the success or failure of the property. If a hotel that has consistently low occupancy rates, for example, it may mean that property has significant problems that make it unattractive to the general public. So, the occupancy rate can also be used to determine how successful the facility is compared to its competitor and how changes in pricing or marketing strategies impact its business. Okay, so magina siya basically basic importance sa occupancy rate. Though, even if ma-identify nila nga there are certain things na low ang occupancy rate, still, there are standards on how to measure Okay, these are the standards on how to measure occupancy rate. So, the first standard is room occupancy rate. So, hotel occupancy rates is expressed in the form of relationship. Relationship between the number of rooms occupied by the guests and the total number of hotel rooms that can actually be occupied. So, it is represented by the following mathematical equation where R represents the room occupancy rate, where O represents the occupied rooms, and D represents the total rooms that can be occupied. Okay, so in getting the room occupancy rate, you just have to add the number of occupied rooms and the total rooms that can be occupied. For example, 
if Grand Hotel has a 100 total number of rooms, and then on December 24th, the rooms being occupied is 50, and the number of rooms available for sale is 50, so the, to add it up, there are 100 rooms occupied. And when we are going to express it in percentage, then there are 100% room occupancy rate. Okay, so in Anna. The second standard is beds occupancy rate. So, hotel occupancy rates can be expressed through the relationship between the number of beds occupied by the guest and hotel capacity, which is the number of beds that can be afforded to hotel inmates or guests. So, this is expressed by the mathematical equation. So, RB, which means bed occupancy rate, OB, which means number of rooms occupied bed. TB, which is total number of beds that can be provided. So, in getting the bed occupancy rate, you just have to add the number of occupied beds plus the total beds that can be provided. Okay? So, to avoid confusion, ang imuhalagid bantayan is the word bed. You have to compare to the first standard. Here, in the second standard, we are referring the number of bed. But on the first standard, we are referring the number of rooms occupied or the number of rooms basically because there are some hotel were charged based on bed. Okay? And some, mangon labi na sa mga large hotel, na asa yung mga charges for extra bed or roll away bed. Okay? So, what are the reasons nga low man ang occupancy in the hotel? So, first, it could be that the hotel is new. Diba? So, challenge yun na kaayo if the hotel is bago pa lang. Okay? But, since new pa na siya, it would require good na time to grow. You, just, you should give it at least six months, but potentially up to a year before establishing whether there is low occupancy problem. In the meantime, uh, every new business could use some promotion, okay? Like um, leveling up your marketing strategy. If you don't have a marketing plan, then you're going to start a new one or you're going to build a new one so that your hotel is ma-known ma ma and then the ganda mo patronize na mga guests. Okay? And then, dili magid late ang mo plano to advertise because um, usually magyod some of the hotel will start on marketing their plan, their, their hotel through advertising, like through giving leaflets. Mo magid na siya ang kanang mostly nga buhaton sa mga hotel. The second reason is the hotel is not visible online. Okay? Um, if it is not visible online, then you can do marketing on the internet. It is essential when you are starting a new business. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is especially true for hotels where most guests are coming from the internet. Like, di ba, kung mo, 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 mo search ka sa internet, like, mangita kag hotel, ka budget friendly. So, increase yun ni mo ang imo marketing style nga kanang ma-attract yun ang osa ka customer. Okay? Third one is the hotel is not targeting the right customer. So, you have to think who is your target market. Is it the business traveler, uh, families, large groups, couples, or romantic getaway? Okay, every audience, man, God, they have different needs and want. Diba? Mama siya tong discussed last meeting. So, you have to fit into the requirements. If it doesn't then if dili na siya mo fit then it could be the reason for your low occupancy for example business traveler would like to have access to printer or scanner facilities uh, families would like to have access to a safe place area for children or try to accommodate your target market to the best of your abilities you have to make sure that all of this is clearly displayed on your online pages social media flow profiles and brochures you should also consider creating your own hotel blog okay so that is one way of another of marketing your hotel and then your blog will feature your hotel but also feature events mm -mm. mga news mga guides mga even ang location inyo na niya siya ibutang sa inyo hang blog so that makita dito sa uh, mga customer kung unsa gid ang mga gina-offer sa inyo hanga hotel 
Fourth one is the hotel is not encouraging repeat visitors. If guests travel to the area regularly, uh, consider offering incentives to the repeat vis visit visitors. So the most popular way is via closed group discounts. Okay, if you decide to go down this route, mind any existing party agreements. You are a counterparty of. You have to encourage your repeat visitors to come in various forms. Okay, and you have to offer discounts also. And pinaka the best good ng buhaton, especially if repeated that siyang visitors is since na anam mo histories ay hang previous ng occupancy, so kahibaw na gid mo kung unsa ay hang mga gusto, di ba? So tili na mo maghuwat nga mo request pa siya anang a certain thing. Okay, you just have to ask if. Same lang bagi hapon, maoba ni mo, just to confirm lang, okay? And then, i-offer na siya. So, mo na siya best way, so that the guest will feel comfortable and ma-feel po niya ang importante gid siya since na-remember man sa hotel ang ihang mga likes, ang ihang mga ipang avail previously, okay? The fifth one is the hotel haven't built local partnership, okay? If the hotel haven't done already this, this partnership so it should be it is important to introduce the hotel to the neighbors and contacts at the local city councillors you have to spend time in the area getting to know your neighbor and the area attraction okay even if you already live in the area you have to try to look at it from the point of view of the tourist you have to get to know other local businesses and attracts that you'll be referring guests it may also help okay Okay, if you're going to build partnerships man with other accommodations or other um, tourist site, it magkuan mag siya, mag create mag siya word of mouth. Okay, so they can refer your hotel, and at the same time, at the same time, you can refer also to their um, attractions or even restaurant or ang ilahang mga local na business. Okay, so important ka ayun na siya. And then another reason for low occupancy in hotel is that the hotel hotel's online reputation is lacking. Okay, so we are now in the age of internet, so online reputation is everything. Okay, so as many travelers book their travel arrangement on the internet, reading good words about your business online can go a long way. Okay, so important yun ang mga recommendations. Um, mga reviews on your hotel, especially if naan na may kaugalingon ninyo nga vlog, if mag-create na ang vlog ang Osaka Hotel. So, you have to encourage your existing guests to leave a review. So, most of the guests are happy to leave a review. So, a simple reminder at checkout is all it takes. Okay, so once the review starts coming in, try and reply to all of their reviews, positive and negative and don't forget, be humble and grateful because these reviews are what your future guests will see. Okay, so even when things go wrong, it's always good to show potential future guests that the hotel cares. Make sure that you cover all booking sites and review sites. Uh, for example, kind of mga trip advice or real and square space. Okay, mo na siya mga examples sa mga booking sites. The next one is the hotel's marketing strategy is not effective. Okay, so when the guest book online, they are essentially booking your photos. Kita on yun nila ang photos. So kung ako ang imong display online is not so attractive ang photos, then basically dili gid sila mo stay sa hotel, dili gid sila ma attract. So very important nga kung unsa ang inyong mark kung uns kung one of your marketing strategy is to showcase your hotel kung sa mga facilities ana through photos then you should make sure nga maayo ang photos kinindot ang photos nga make sure nga maka attract din siya sa customer and then the last one is the hotel's prices for room and other facilities is too expensive okay so very important yun nga before Issuing or before releasing the rates of your rooms or the prices of your rooms and the facilities offer, um, magkandak yun mo o kanang, um, kanabitong ikandak ninyo kung unsa ang 
advantage ninyo sa inyohang competitor, uh, inyoha kitaon kung unsa ang kung pila ang mga prices sa competitor since what in the ekta as na pagkayo ng inyohang price compared sa ilaha and then you are offering the same amount of services. Okay? So, kama on na siya kitaon. So, those are the reasons nga low ang occupancy in hotel. Hot, low ang occupancy sa hotel. Okay, so, bago ang hotel, dili siya visible online, mali ang iyang target market, wala siya nag-encourage or private visitors, wala nag-build of local partnership, um, wala online, the re online reputation is lacking, so wala mga reviews and feedback from the customers, and then, um, ang marketing strategy is dili siya effective, and then, the prices is expensive compared to the other hotel. So, those are the reasons for low occupancy. And now, na po siya mga strategies on how you are going to increase um, occupancy rates in hotel. So first, communicating to the right target audience. So if you notice that the hotel's occupancy rates are lower than your competitors, then the target audience of the hotel should be revisited. So hoteliers should be targeting the right target market na na ay higher chance of staying at the property. They could be business travelers, mga young couples with families, mga group of friends, and so on. So, it's best to gather data from your guest records and understand the right approach. The second is create packages and promotion. So, once ka na na kay target audience and imo na siya na defined for your hotel, the next step that you are going to, that, to do is to start creating packages and promotions that could appeal to this particular target segment, okay? Because uh, different guests will have different expectations in mind and catering to these specific needs will be beneficial to your property. So their expectation may vary depending on their cultural background. It may vary from their ethnicity. It may vary from their profession, their age, mga income, income group, and so on. So you have to use that information in your own advantage and make them an offer that is compelling to them. Okay? You have to keep in mind that the packages and promotions to be offered should still have a strong pricing for your hotel to earn profit. Because basically, mga mga ginagawa siya purpose why you have a hotel to gain a revenue. Though nag-offer ka ang mga packages and promotion, but still, you have to think nga ang imuhang pricing would fit good or mag-create niya po na siya of profit. Third one is provide lo loyalty discount. So this is the best way also in increasing hotel occupancy because it will encourage the guests to have returning visits to your hotel. Loyalty programs is very helpful as it costs less to retain guests than to attract newer ones. Okay, so you have you're going to entice them with a special loyalty discounts during off-peak season or less busy times. Okay, if imo silang makuha through ani, so hundred percent sure nga naagud mo mo stay sa inyong hotel naghapon mo profit bisan og dili siya peak season okay so mao gina siya advantage gina siya sa inyo hang hotel and then aside from offering during off month or loyalty discounts can be extended on their birthday so a like anniversary okay of their last visit so guests will have an increased satisfaction with your property because of this acknowledgement and gratitude okay so, di ba, best kasi ang marketing strategy. Okay. And then, the fourth one is partner with corporate. So, this is another tip on how you're going to increase occupancy rate in the hotel. So, you have hotel must sign up with the corporates and other businesses. It's best to diversify multiple sources of reservations that will eventually increase chances of your hotel being occupied. For city accommodations, the opportunity is partnering with business business because it is too big to miss out. So your hotel should come up with a compelling package that will stand out against competitor. So the best part of having this type of partners, partnership is being assured of steady business coming into your hotel. 
Then the last one is continuous engagement with your guest. So this is the last um, strategy on how to increase your occupancy rate in a hotel. So it is important to develop your own mailing list with the right target audience. Stay in touch with your previous guests through having constant communication with them by offering midweek specials, mga special loyalty cards, and so on. Okay, another way to engage them is through showing the best highlights of your hotel and also the nearby sites to visit as well. Okay, by having the right communication to your target market, it will increase the chances, chances for them to book with your hotel instead of competitors. Okay, so those are the strategies. We're going to communicate with the right audience. If na ang right audience, then you're going to create packages and promotions to them. Okay, providing loyalty cards, not just off peak season, but also during their special occasions like birthday, anniversary, mga ingana. And then you have to partner with corporates. Okay, and then lastly, continuous engagement with your guests. So there, there is also another way increasing occupancy rate. It could, it is, could be, it is through applying the length of stay restriction. So applying length of stay restriction is the best way to increase your occupancy rate. So first is the minimum length of stay. So you have to accept longer duration stays and reject shorter duration stays for arrival when you at when you are anticipating a period of high demand followed by a low demand. Okay, so this will help the hotel increase occupancy during the slow period afterwards. The second one is maximum length of stay. So in maximum length of stay, the strategy would be is that don't accept reservation at specific rate for multiple night stays, extending into your high demand period. Okay, so guests who want to stay beyond the maximum length of stay period can be charged rack rate for subsequent nights. And then the last one is close to arrival dates. When you're going to apply this restriction, you have a very high demand and you expect to reach maximum occupancy through stayovers as opposed to new arrivals. So don't accept reservations for arrivals on the day in question and only allow guests staying through from previous night. Okay, so those are the another way on how to invest your video. Minimum length of stay, maximum length of stay, and close to arrival. And also, we, are, we have to determine the pros, pros and cons of the occupancy rate. So, pros is that occupancy rate gives a clear indication of how much business your hotel is doing. Okay, so through benchmarking occupancy against competitor, it shows your rates na kailangan ni adjust. Okay, so makita din mo kung um, mag kailangan ba ni mo i-adjust ang imuhang occupancy rate. Okay, mo na to nga, maghatag na ka og mga discounts, mga promotions. Especially if taas ka ayo ang occupancy rate sa competitor. And then cons is occupancy rate alone doesn't give any indication into how your property is doing financially because occupancy rate will just determine the percentage of your room being occupied. Though there are certain strategies to make in order to increase your, your room occupancy, but it doesn't guarantee that it will help your hotel in terms of financial. Okay, but, but there are another strategies, mga naay mga lying strategies or applications nga I applied so that ma identify if a hotel is doing financially. Okay, so occupancy rate can be used in hotel, very important in, in a hotel, in partner with another strategies na po, in revenue management to determine the financially, kanabitong, to, to determine kung unsa ang, if financial stable bang sa ka hotel. Okay, so that ends with our discussion of the occupancy rate. I hope that you understand regarding the strategies, kung, kung ano ang low, ang mga possible reasons why ubos ang occupancy rate sa Osaka Hotel. And then, what are the strategies that you are going to do to increase the occupancy rate of the hotel and how occupancy rate is being uh, computed.
Okay, so for your assignment, you're going to research the following questions. What is yield management? And then what is the benefit of yield management in your hotel industry? Okay, so if you have any questions, so you can message me directly through Messenger or you can click on the link being provided in the announcement and then we can talk one-on-one -on -one if if you have any question. Okay, so naman dito ang schedule kung kanas ato siya. Okay, so that would be all. Thank you class. God bless and keep safe.